Hello, I'm Perry Weinberg, and welcome to another edition of Legacy. This program series produced by the Communication Committee showcases those members who have played a significant role in the life and existence of Columbia Yacht Club. I'm honored to tell you about this special edition of Legacy featuring former Columbia Commodore and Commodore Emeritus for the Chicago Area Sea Scouts, Ed Stein. We are privileged to have been contacted by longtime member Marty Bernstein, who has generously shared a video interview with us that he did in October of 2015, when Ed was 98 years old. Marty also was able to share with us a short presentation by Fox 32 Chicago that featured Ed in September of 2019. We especially want to thank Marty for all his time, work, and collaboration on this legacy project and also want to extend our gratitude to Ed's two daughters, Myrna and Arlene, for helping us make this video edition of Legacy possible. Please enjoy this special edition of Legacy that captures Ed's vivid memories and reflections on Columbia Yacht Club's history and progress through the decades along with a very personal Columbia moment. Well, when I was 15, I uh, joined the Sea Scouts and uh, <clears throat> the skipper I had in those years I had a starboat and he took me sailing uh, <clears throat> one dreary night and we went like a bat out of hell and that put the charge in me that I loved sailing. I was asked to be a uh, skipper of uh, Columbia Yacht Club. And uh, as a skipper, uh, the uh, members were buying me lunch and dinner on, on occasion. And I thought, well, maybe it's about time that I pay my own way, and that's why I joined uh, Columbia. I was asked to uh, become a treasurer. I think I was treasurer for uh, about three years, and from there they uh, wanted me to move up to uh, the Commodore. And um, after being Commodore for three years, I uh, retired and we had some problems uh, in, after that. And so I was asked to uh, be Commodore again to uh, try to get things straightened around. Later on, as um, the club got older, we had our own docks that were right across from the Naval Armory. And the wood boulders started to rot away. So we had a member, Thor Christensen. He was an engineer and he said, well, we can fix those pilings. So what we did was get the huge uh, pipes and put a rod in and we would set them down over the rotted pilings and stuff them with paper and other things and after that was all set, we would then take concrete and pour it into the pipes so that it would sturdy the pilings. Well, the members were all involved and it took one winter and all the pilings were remade so that we saved a huge uh, amount of money doing that. But ultimately, the uh, kitchen uh, had a fire. And while uh, I was calling on a 
client on Michigan Avenue, they were all looking out the window at a fire. And I said, what's that? She says, oh, that's Columbia Yacht Club burning. I said, wow, I had a luncheon date there today. But that took care of the luncheon date. And of course, when the club burnt and sunk, uh, it was stuck in the mud. So uh, the, we had uh, floats that helped bring the boat up, but because of the mud and because it was stuck in the mud, the fire department had came over with uh, pressure hoses to uh, free the boat from the mud. And then it came up and um, we had years that um, our members built on top of the hull because when it burnt, the upper deck was, was gone. Reese Elledge was the commodore and also the lawyer that had the city rebuild docks for us so that uh, we weren't without a yacht club. Well, Columbia was always very generous and uh, the Sea Scouts always were very attentive and helped uh, wherever uh, they were asked to help uh, in the club, various cleanup details. And one of the members of Columbia Yacht Club. He was retiring and he had a uh, power boat and wondered if the Sea Scouts could accept it as a donation. I says, oh yes we can. And we wound up buying uh, four Rhodes 19s for the Sea Scouts. I was skipper at Columbia, and um, the uh, professional scout executive named Alden Barber said, Ed, we would like you to head up the Sea Scouts. I said, oh no, I'm happy just being skipper at Columbia Yacht Club. And they said, no, really, we're serious about it. We'd like you to take over the job, and they said, all you have to do is do it temporarily. So 64, 65 years later, I finally found someone to take over the job. Those days, we had a holding tank instead of sewers going to the city. And every uh, two weeks, a, tru a truck came up to the sidewalk and pumped all of the stuff out. So the members were all calling it shit to shore instead of ship to shore. <laughs> <laughs> So we, the, the city um, made us put in a line that comes from the ship to, um, to the outer drive. In the main deck at the old Columbia, this goes back to the 30s, um, there was a Boulder fireplace went from floor to ceiling and uh, on a cold winter night the uh, fireplace was burning and uh, it was a nice cozy place to uh, to romance. That's uh, where Millie had one of her first tastes of a ship rolling, and of course, uh, she was never thrilled with that. Uh, 
weather permitting, I love to go sailing. Ed Stein's love for sailing stretches back almost a century. He's 102 years old. He began sailing as a teenager while growing up in the Southside Beverly neighborhood. There are a lot of other sports, golf, tennis, or other things, but um, this is another choice. It's a choice that has led to his once being named Yachtsman of the Year and Commodore of the Columbia Yacht Club and the Chicago Yachting Association. He's also a leader in the Sea Scouts program, which introduces youngsters to the benefits of sailing. It's challenging, it's relaxing, and it's a good way to socialize with some of your friends. Stein was at the lakefront this weekend for the Commodore Stein Regatta, held every year in his honor. The water was a little rough, though, so he stayed on shore, and the regatta itself was eventually canceled. Our Sally Schulze asked Stein if he could ever imagine a summer without sailing. I hope uh, <laughs> I um, look forward to it every summer, and uh, of course I have... Uh, Another birthday uh, coming up in April, and that will make a uh, 103 years. Earlier in his life, Stein ran the family business, making attaché cases and briefcases. He and his wife also raised two daughters, but he spent so much time on the water that his wife gave his boat a special name. The name of the boat is Doghouse 4, and um, I guess... The only answer to that is that when I'm sailing, I'm always in the doghouse.